Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Fans channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Do you feel sad? Harry received a bitter letter after King's significant success in Trooping the Color. It's astonishing to think about everything Harry willingly gave up, the admiration and pride of hundreds of millions of people worldwide who cheered and waved, proud to be British or part of the Commonwealth. Harry once had it all, with the world at his feet. However, during the recent Trooping the Color event, Harry and Meghan were absent. They were reportedly instructed to stay away from the ceremony. It seems that even the BBC presenters were told not to mention Harry's name during the live broadcast. The order seemingly came from Harry's own father, who had cared for him after the tragic events of 1997, nurturing him and protecting him from his youthful missteps. Despite having given Harry numerous opportunities to reveal hidden truths, his father continues to shield his worst indiscretions. This father, who once deeply loved him, now hides behind a nasty woman who entered Harry's life with the purpose of overpowering his beloved grandmother. The disrespect towards His Late Majesty by this woman is absolutely astonishing, yet Harry supports her, influenced by the manipulation she has inflicted upon him. The occasion of Trooping the Color holds great significance as a state event, and this is what Harry sacrificed for an ex yacht girl who had previously been associated with one of his own family members. It's repugnant to see him sitting alone, consumed by anger, spite, and bitterness, led to believe terrible things about his beloved family by Meghan. I have a question for Harry, while he sits there with his feelings of resentment, anger, fury, and sadness, does he realize that millions of people around the world continue to love and respect his family? I urge Harry to take a long look at them, as they represent the future of Great Britain. And what about the invisible children? Most people in the world don't even believe they are real. How does Harry feel about that? Meghan has trapped him with these invisible children. Look at his family, Harry, and see how proudly his brother wears his full military uniform, sitting atop his horse next to his father. Look at Catherine, his once-adored sister-in-law, standing proudly with their real children. She doesn't need to fabricate their existence or lie to the world about them. Do you understand yet, Harry? Observe how proudly his uncle Edward and his wife Sophie participate in momentous occasions, carrying out their royal duties with pride and no negative press. They simply get on with the job, as expected. And what about his hard-working aunt, Princess Anne? Look at her sitting atop her horse, wearing full uniform with a white feather on her hat. Would she ever complain like Harry does? Would she insult any family member or leak negative stories to the media? Absolutely not. Take a moment to look at Queen Camilla, his father's support system, the woman he attacked. She has endured so much to be with the man she loves. Harry should understand that his mother, had she survived, would never have become queen. That's the truth. She never desired it. The world grieved when she passed away, and Harry didn't seem to appreciate it. We had a right to mourn her, even though we didn't know and love her as he did. Tradition and ceremony are what the British excel at, they bring people together, transcending divisions of religion, culture, and beliefs. Harry, you're sitting there alone as your family makes history. I hope that now, as millions of others do, Harry understands that being the spare wouldn't have affected his position within his family. Unfortunately, they want nothing to do with him because he has become a traitor, a liar, and a hateful person who will be remembered negatively. He has lost his family, self-respect, honorary military titles, the love of his brother and father, and his dignity. However, he can still wake up and see Meghan's face beside him. No wonder Harry is now an empty shell of who he once was, and soon he will confront the reality of aging from the other side of the bed. This entire mess is self-inflicted. It's tragic that Harry has lost his own family, but it's even worse that he seems to have lost his senses, which are difficult to regain when you're not treated properly and engage in illegal drug use. It's disturbing and disloyal to direct his anger not only towards his family but also towards the media and the government, the same government he wants to spend taxpayers' money to protect himself, his wife, and their invisible children. 
In the background, while trooping the color took place, a continuing resentment between Queen Camilla and Princess and overshadowed the festivities. Palace insiders revealed that during rehearsals leading up to the parade, tensions rose as the Queen Consort and the Princess Royal clashed. Sources indicate that the feud started because in seemingly refused to curtsy to Camilla before the big day. It's clear that Camilla dislikes confrontations and dislikes it even more when someone dislikes her. The problem lies in Anne's resistance to fall for Camilla's charms. They have different ways of getting along with men better than women. This is the second fight between Camilla and Anne in the past months. Previously, at Charles's pre-coronation dinner, Anne confronted Camilla about her title in front of guests, clarifying that it is queen consort and not queen. Their history goes back to a love triangle in the 70s when Anne had a relationship with Andrew Parker Bowles, who later became Camilla's husband. Bitterness has existed between them for a long time and their relationship has remained famously frosty. According to sources, the disdain between them has only grown worse. Presently, it revolves around Camilla's inability to restrain herself and respect the late Queen's legacy, something that Anne is still sensitive about and had dated Andrew Parker Bowles before he married Camilla. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our Royal Family Fans channel to get more updates in the future.